Hi everyone. Um, so one of the um, babies that I've seen today kind of uh, triggered this uh, video like they usually do. I see something and then I'll try and uh, decipher it for you and see if it helps you. So I get asked um, a lot about should a mum said should I change the formula and uh, mostly mums are worried about changing the formula. My general advice is I actually think changing the formula is not as bad as you think it's going to be. The rewards from finding a formula that your baby's doing better on are great. So, um, you know, windy or refluxing, it's worth the experiment to see if changing the formula is going to help your baby. If it doesn't and your baby kind of kicks off with wind or reflux and that, you just change back and you've kind of lost a day and I know the baby's you know, upset and that's not very nice to see, but it's, you can change it. It's not something that's gonna take a week to kind of get over. So having a, um, a little experiment, not chopping changing all the time, but trying a different one could be so good for your baby. So there's a few other things that I hear about with formulas. One, I, every day it kind of proves to me that every formula is different. I can't remember which two are apparently made by the same company. So um, mums are told, you know, use that one or that one, doesn't matter, same company. There is a difference between those two as well. Your baby might love or hate any of them. I tend to go towards Aptimel and Hip Organic. Um, but I, if you know, if a mum says they're my baby's worse on those and I'm better on Crown Gate, I'm totally hands up. That's um, that's fine. I just think every baby's different, every formula's different, so it's worth to try. So this is the story from today: is that a mum's on the pre-made ones, and I often see the pre-made ones are better. Not 100% sure, possibly because the powdered ones, you know, you shake the bottle, and the bubbles come in the bottle, and then the baby takes down more bubbles which is why the Dr. Brown's bottles and things, um, they help. <clears throat> so the pre-made the pre ones I usually think are better. However, today uh, I was talking to a mum, um, this was last week actually, I was talking to the mum and she mentioned that the pre-made one, pre one was thicker. I actually, I hadn't realised they were thicker because usually if a baby's got colicky or refluxy and then you put the thicker formula in, then it can just aggravate them a bit because the thicker one's a bit harder to digest. Anyway, so today we spoke to the mum, she had changed off the pre-made one onto an anti-colic one, which was the Aptimel one, and her baby was much better. So pro proving what I always think in that any, any change could help your baby. So she's gone for the pre from the pre-made, which I think is usually better, to a powder, and this baby had done better on that. Now interestingly, the, um, the colic one, the, the powder colic one, is a bit thinner. So. I kind of I was thinking the pre-made is better because there's no bubbles um, when you shake it into it, but in this case it wasn't that problem that um, the baby wasn't better because of that. Um, it was actually the consistency. So it's the consistency that the babies usually get on with or don't get on with. Uh, in a general rule, if it's thicker, the baby will have um, a harder time digesting it. So if they are, are um, if they're colicky. Um, or just with tummy pains, I would tend towards a thinner one. The problem with the thinner one is they can um, a bit more easily um, sick it up. There's always a balance, but um, my rule would be that you give it a try and change. You know, don't, if you've got a really upset colicky baby and you're really trying to stick out with one formula because you don't want to change it and upset them more, I would say do try the change because they could be great on another formula. Okay, if you've got any questions about formulas, um, put them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer on here. Thanks.